Lawless McLeod County. Okay, March 19th, 2015, 2.20 p.m., calling Patrick Melvin, the uh, uh, county administrator for the county of McLeod. Hi, how are you doing today? Good. Well, that's good. Is uh, County Administrator Patrick Melvin in today? I will transfer to his office. Just a moment, please. Thank you. Good afternoon, County Administration. This is Donna. Hi, how are you doing today? I am doing well. Well, that's good. Say, is uh, Patrick Melvin in today? Well, I received this harassing email from him on February 19th, 2015. It's, it's, uh, it's uh, the title of its proceeding with data request. It's a uh, carbon copy to uh, the sheriff, uh, Scott Raymond, and uh, Michael Young, your county attorney, and Vincent, okay. Vincent Traver. I don't know who he is. He's our IT director. Okay. Well, anyhow, uh, I, at, I asked the sheriff to forward my data request to Mr. Melvin, so he just sent me the policy and procedure manual and the data practice manual uh, for McLeod County to me, and instead of being kind, courteous, and helpful, he sends me this harassing email in which he tells me I'm supposed to drive. You know, I, live in Minnesota, I, I live in Glenwood, and, and I'm supposed to drive to Glencoe, to view this this free electronic public information which he could just email to me and then he says my other option is that I could pay him 100 or, or excuse me thirty five dollars and twenty five cents for for him to print out this electronic information and then I don't know how he's gonna email this the, the pieces 141 pieces of paper to me when I presume all this I have a reasonable suspicion that all this information is in PDF format and all he has to do is email it to me. Because your Sheriff Raymond has already emailed me a variety of information, public information, free electronic public information from the Sheriff's Department. And, and I have a feeling this is uh, in regard to this complaint that was filed against the Sheriff, the County Attorney, uh, the city, uh, it, city Attorney and uh, the Chief of Police. In Heather Swantek's case, uh, I think yeah. think it's just trying. Uh, Mr. Uh, Melvin's just trying to harass me and bully me, you know, into well extorting me out of thirty-five dollars and twenty-five cents, and to waste my time, insult my intelligence, you know, and misuse public funds to illegally withhold this free electronic information from me. You know, I don't I don't appreciate that at all. Well, uh, first of all, who who are you? I'm his assistant. Uh, what's your name, please? Donna. Donna, what's your last name, please? Rickman. Okay, thank you. Well, see, that's the problem. You know, it's these people in your county think and act like they're above the law. You know, there was a situation where your law enforcement broke into someone's home illegally. Yeah, yeah. The yep, cases. I, I, I know the well, the the thing is, you know, apparently this is just a continuation of that, and and I'm not going to allow people to harass me. You know, if they think they can get away with harassing Heather and and Jesse, well, that's you know something else. I, I don't tolerate that at all. So I, I already. Are, are you are you part? Are you with Heather? And I mean, what what is your relationship? Well, actually, that's none of your business. Okay. To to be perfectly honest. The, the point is, uh, I know that I have asked for free electronic information, 
It's being illegally withheld from me. An attempt to defraud me out of $35.25 has been made by your county administrator. And I informed your county administrator that I would report it to law enforcement. So that's the situation. I, I either will receive my information or I will file a complaint. It's a criminal act to illegally withhold public information. It's a misdemeanor of the data practice law, and it's also criminal misconduct of a public official. So either he emails me my information or I will contact the police. That's simple. I've contacted them before. Apparently they're so scared that they don't even want to return my phone calls. So that, I mean, that tells you what's going on there. See, so that's the thing. I'm not going to tolerate this, period. And I am recording the call, so just for your information, I will be putting it up on the Internet probably later on today. So, you know, if Mr. Melvin, you know, for some odd reason claims he never received my voicemail, then he can just look on the Internet for it. Okay? Okay. So okay. I, I would appreciate being put to his voicemail, and I will uh, leave a message for him. Okay. You'd like to be transferred to his voicemail? Please. Thank you. County Administrator Patrick Melvin, this is Terry Numbers, 320-283-5713. It is March 19th, not March 16th, 2015. Apparently you need to change your message there. Uh, also, you sent me a harassing email on February 19th, which you carbon copied to Sheriff Raymond, Vincent Traver, and Michael Young. Uh, in this is... This email you make, uh, you, this harassing email you sent me, you're trying to defraud me out of $35.25 for free electronic information. You're trying to defraud me out of the, uh, the $35.25 for the PDF format of the uh, McLeod County Personnel Policy Handbook and the uh, McLeod County Government Data Practice Manual. See, apparently you think that I'm stupid enough to pay you $35.25 for 141 pages uh, of paper that you're going to print out when I've asked for electronic data. See, all you have to do is hit reply, attach those free electronic uh, documents that you have in your possession uh, and then just email them to me to the email address that you have in your possession. See, and I've told you that I will file a complaint for criminal misconduct and illegal withholding uh, free electronic information with the police. And, I, you know, I, apparently your police are so scared that, that they don't even want to return my phone calls, or you're at least the Winstead Police Department. So that's the thing. You will provide me the information or I will file a complaint. Terry Nemmers. 320-283-5713. I demand this be emailed to me today. Bye. Lawless McLeod County.